In my opinion, lying more will make it worse. So don't even say anything. Just fucking go online, act like nothing happened. Like, don't even answer. That's you, not me, sorry. Just fucking do your thing, smile, ignore the shit. If the cops come to me, I have a story. But don't put it online. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not ready to, like, cry and say all this other shit. So I'm just going to ignore people, too. That's the only way. That's the best way. I'm trying really, really, really hard not to address things. I'm not worth it to lose your channel, babe. They are under our shoes, especially Nectar, the filthy animal. <laughs> yeah. I know, baby, you're right. So he's releasing voice notes from April. During the time when I wanted nothing more to reconcile with him because I'm an idiot. I was trying to protect him and lie for him. And I did all that and put myself out there and did so much for this person. And now they just crap, like they just continue to abuse me and crap on me online. Show revenge pee, like just the worst things. And it just gives me a headache. And it's just so soul destroying that this person still even just like is out there. You were in such a better space. I'm trying. And I feel like, I don't know how to explain to people how hard it is, like, when you're trying so hard and people just continually try to drag you down into the abyss again. And it's my fault to let myself get like that, to ha let it happen. I have to control myself. I don't know. I just want to cry. Like, I don't know. Like, when I think, I'm just so, like, I can't, my mind is just so, I don't know. I can't even talk. Like, I'm just so, like, messed up right now. I just can't even talk. How's my depression? Good and bad. Like, lo-fi, like, I really just, like, sometimes just lose it. You know? Sometimes I just have, like, a really hard time keeping it together. You know? And I don't want to cry. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. But, I tried my best, and just try to keep like trying so hard to be positive and trying not to be negative and just ignore everything i have so much black hate in my heart for this person that if you can call it a person i have to really try not to rage it's so odd to me that like People just look forward to that. Like, that's what they, like, look forward to is, like, rages. I don't even talk about them, like, comb over queen and green pea and blue pea. I don't even talk about them, like, unless, like, something like this happens. And what bothers me is that, like, people know he's a known liar and woman abuser. Like, how many times? <laughs> like, he's literally been caught, caught in so many lies. And, like, people just want to support that. It's so gross. I don't know. I guess, like, even the worst of people have support. I really don't understand it. I guess I generally don't really, like, care what the majority of people- It's just, like, stupid things I don't care about. Like, things like defending, a, like, someone like this just to spite me is just so weird to me. Like, it's so odd. Like, why am I letting this ruin my mood, you know what I mean? We had a really good day so far. I guess I just like to, like, come online and talk about how I'm feeling, you know? I hate this, like, internet facade of, like, perfection that people have to hold up. Like, why can't we just be human? Like, I will not be doing live streams anymore. I will be going to a recorded video format from now on. I think this will be better for me and I've had a lot of time to think about it. I hate that people hold past against people. I hate that people bring up things all the time from the past and try to cancel people over difference of opinion over stupid petty things. I, I hate that, you know? He's trying to prove I'm a liar by showing a voicemail of when I said- I, All I said in the voicemail was, I have a story if the cops come to me. I'm not ready to, like, cry and say all this other shit, so I'm just gonna ignore people too. That's the only way. That's the best way. It doesn't mean that I was gonna lie or- Like, I don't know what he's trying to prove. Like, he's bringing up old things from April, like, in an attempt to redeem himself. It's not gonna happen. You're never going to be popular. You're never going to be chef because you literally, people laugh at you. People laugh at your cooking. You literally set 
Didi's stove on fire. Like, what chef sets stoves on fire? Can you tell me? All it proved was that you're like, at the time, like, I was feeling a certain way. And I was like trying to help him. And he's like, what an idiot. Anyway. Turd is reaching in solo reaction channels. They have to reach. They have nothing else. Nothing. And then people flex. Oh, this person has more views than you. Yeah, my hate watchers like to go over there. Big deal. What, what flex is that? You have, you have a community of hate. What kind of flex is that? Really? Please. And then they come after Beezers when all we want is positivity. You guys never cheer on negativity. You always tell me, you always want the best for me. You always tell me, like, well, the remaining Beezers. There were some that were just wanting drama. But you always tell me, like, never stoop down to that level. Keep going, blah, blah, blah. It takes you, like, three hours to make something that looks like it could be served at a geriatric center. I know I said this cooking was good a few times. Honestly, you're in something with someone, you have rose-colored glasses. That's all I can say. I look at this face now and I'm like, how did I ever, how did I ever put myself through so much and demoralize myself and do things against myself that I would not want to ever do? And I even heard Dudu say that. You made me do things I would never do. And here she is, like, <laughs> spending her life savings on this idiot. Live and learn. That's why when people bring things up that I did when I was 15, even last year, I'm not the same person I was in April. No. Yeah, I still rage over things. My anger is always, I don't know. But it doesn't mean that I haven't grown as a person or I would never be with someone like that ever again. The reason I have Sala, an amazing life partner, is because of like learning what I went through. You know, I've never been, I never had experience with an abuser before that. I don't know, you guys said he was a bad person. I couldn't see it. Or I did. But then I would just like your mind switches, like and convinces you. You know what I mean? Look at this comment. Okay, this is an example. Uh, and die alone. Like, who, number one, I'm married to a very handsome man, so you're projecting, you're probably gonna die alone. Like, anyone with this attitude, I don't know how people would wanna be around you, so. I don't know. That, these are the same people who will hate me for being vile, but they say the most vile things. Can you not read, like, Tammy, can you not look up um, hypocrisy in the dictionary? Thanks. Toodles. My hubby. He calmed me down a lot, actually. I was really, like, ragey earlier. I, we were in the car and I was like, I seen a comment. I don't, I don't watch Turdhead, right? That's, that's the girl world audience. They're vile like that and they have the nerve to say that I'm vile. And any time I've been vile is in self-defense. They're trying to poke exactly childish. And they're probably like 60. <laughs> I honestly feel like he's just, I'm still being like abused by this person. Like with what he's doing online. And it's like emotionally affecting me. Like bad. Imagine being that age and just stunted mentally, like to the point where you don't treat people. Like anyway, never mind. Like, leave me alone. Why are you even still obsessing? Like, why are you talking? Dudu, check your man. Get him to shut his mouth. Like, I know you're mad that you lost your job and you blame me. I don't care. I, I, I don't care an iota about you. I don't give a crap what happens to you, quite frankly, at all. You need to get a life and make, like, make each other happy so that you have something else to talk about. Because if you think that you're going to do all of this and there's no consequence, you're insane. I will just tell you right now. But you are insane. I hope you being a prison boss was true because you're never going to have the audience you think you're going to have. Like, you're... People who are smart know you're an abuser. I'm going back to Canada um, in a couple weeks. And I'm hitting the vet, and then I'm hitting the police station with all of my evidence. Wait. He's laughing now, like, ooh, hoo, hoo, what are you going to do to me? <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. That was also the time when he was legally not allowed to contact me. I had no legal obligation in that, but he did. So you're out in yourself as being a liar. <laughs> Even more. Well, when I go to the police station, I'm going to ask them to have him stop harassing me online. I have messages too, buddy. I have messages of you asking me for money for a cigarette, like a bum. And you want people to believe that a few months later you can afford to buy doo doo a friggin' $6,000 necklace that she doesn't even wear. Show the, the payment of uh, method payment and also the date on that receipt, liar. Not that, nobody even cares about you unless you're talking about me. And that's why you have to do it. Not her have a monthly period. <laughs> I don't know, babe. He's gross. I 
I always found his dancing a huge turn off, but I never said anything, obviously. But I always found it very effeminate, a uh, very effeminate and weird. And listen, I know people are gonna go, oh, she's gay shaming or whatever. No, no, I'm not gender shaming. But me personally, I like my men to be very masculine. Like I don't like effeminate men. So <laughs> I know that sounds really like, but that's just like a personal choice. You don't want the one you're with if you're straight to have poppers in their drawer and to belly dance and act effeminate. It's just weird. Do something fun today. Get it off your mind. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I was having fun. <laughs> we were out earlier. And I know I went through like a confusion period. I think I was just fed up with men and I was like, that's it, I'm gay. <laughs> I'm forever confused about my sexuality, okay? I'm going to admit it. I think I've said this before. I could totally get a she boner for a girl. You know what? He's always like, they talked about my mother, they talked about my mother. You literally did the same thing, even worse. You've said worse things. So you know what? Suck it up, buttercup. I'm sorry, baby, to upset you. I know, like, every time I get upset, he gets upset. Like, he, he, it gets him so mad that, like, there's nothing he can really do, like, right now <laughs> to stop this abuser from talking about me. Like, he's very protective. Like, very protective. Luke Douglas Carey and Peter Reynolds Carey.